are there things that we can do to uh, make ourselves more flexible in our uh, beliefs and values? Um, beyond psychedelics. Be, well, psych- <laughs> well, not necessarily beyond psychedelics. That is one of the uh, potential things that, um, that, that probably works right. for this sort of thing, right? Um, and we do know that it affects some of the same uh, brain circuits that we're seeing in, in this uh, study. Um, but you know, things like uh, mindfulness interventions, we're also looking at um, you know, if we can learn specifically to um, regulate our emotions better. Right. Um, can we then be more flexible? So we have an experiment going now where we train people in a kind of emotion regulation paradigm. It's called cognitive reappraisal, where you mm-hmm. kind of train yourself to look at something in a different way and reinterpret differently so it doesn't make you feel so negative. Right. And if we give people that training and then we put them through the same task I described in the FMI scanner, are they then more flexible? So those are the kinds of tests that we're, we're looking at. Does, does it work? I don't know yet. Okay. okay. Uh, it, it's too early to say. There's some suggestions that it might, but I, right. I can't say. I that mean, that's yet. probably why you designed it in the first place, right? <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> you didn't have any yeah, so confidence. we haven't been completely disproven by the data yet. <laughs> okay, gotcha, gotcha. So okay. There, there is the emotional side and the feeling, and studies of cognitive dissonance in the brain often find that the insular cortex plays a role. But there are some metacognitive uh, brain regions that are also uh, important for the process of, you know, we detect this cognitive dissonance, and that's part of why it spurs us to action. Right. And so there are some brain regions that are involved in detecting conflict, for example, like the anterior cingulate cortex is really important for that kind of um, metacognitive process, and we also see that involved in cognitive dissonance. Thanks for watching. If you want to see the whole interview, just follow the link up here or down below. And please subscribe for more outrageous clips from my interviews. Thank you. Have a good one. Cheers.